we have initiated this competition because we think uh, that one of the most important things uh, for the future collaboration between India and Denmark is that young people are encouraged to learn more about each other and more about India and Denmark. And even more important, they are encouraged to work together or rather co-create together. Please don't do what you're trained to do. Right? It may not work in all situations at all times. You have to think out of the box. Now, if you want to create sustainable solutions, then you cannot rely on old knowledge. I'm not saying that stop attending college or university from tomorrow. It's very essential, but I'm saying learn what is necessary, but have a mind to think outside the box. Because the solutions that are required for 21st century has to be unique, and you need to innovate innovation. It's not enough if you talk about innovation all the time and say, I'll come out with a beautiful idea and make sure that it works, right? The world is connected in new ways. Globalization is a process where social relations are stressed across still longer distances. It implies that all locations in the end will be connected and truly mutual interdependent. The world are facing serious challenges and problems, climate change, pollution, dramatical increase of population, increasing urbanization, lack of natural resources, and so on. And how do we cope with all this? Well, it's a known, well-known and accepted fact all over the world that what we need is global, global solutions. Global solutions where partners, producers, scientists, and users from different parts of the world among them, of course, India and Denmark, are co-creating and finding new answers, new solutions uh, to the problems, and which hopefully will contribute to the development of, a, of new mindsets for living. And in this context, India and Denmark has a great potential for co-creating. And this com uh, competition aims to promote and realize this potential among Danish and Indian students. So let me take you to India. We've been hearing for the last two days, I'm sure many of you were not there, but to give you a snapshot, uh, I would probably bore you with some numbers. India is about 1.2 billion you know, in population. Denmark is 5.5. The city that I come from has 10 million. So you know, uh, just imagine it's about this big scale mapping, right? 5.5, 1.2 billion. But even before you think that you are a Danish or an Indian, I believe that you need to think that you are the citizen of the world. So your market is not just 1.2 billion. Your market is about 7 billion, and which is growing. And the world is shrinking. Right? Uh, so you need to make sure that you create or co-create with the right partnerships, solutions that, are, that sustain, not only for India. Because again, if you see Indo-Danish is fine, but if you just go with a closed mindset, I'll do something only for India, and then it will not work for China. right? So you have to go with an open mind to see that how do we co-create and create a sustainable solution that works for the world. Now that's a bigger market for you. We have a lot of opportunities in India. You can start that as a playground. There are many standard examples, including the likes of Larsen and Tugro. Two engineers in 1938 came to India. I don't know what they knew about India then. I'm sure you guys know a lot, thanks to Wikipedia, Facebook, Twitter, of the world. You know a lot. But they didn't know. They started off small, but today, you know, LNT is a household name. So what it takes to create another LNT, right? Two Danish people and an idea. So the idea is already there. It's probably within you. All you need is find the right partner at the right place in the right time. From my perspective, I think we can see this competition as a natural extension of the Indo-Danish relationship that was initiated back in 1938 by the two Danish engineers, Hulk Larsen and Tobo. And many, in many ways, this was how India became part of Danish engineering history, and Denmark became part of India's history. Today, Larsen and Tobo is one of the largest and most admired companies in India, and it shows the results of a truly co-creative effort. When you are co-creating sustainable solutions for the future, I believe you got you're going to be participating a, uh, in that, and I'm sure that you are very fertile brains, and you will bring in uh, a number of things uh, into the system. 
what uh, I would suggest is have an objective exactly what you would like to uh, have, what is your objective of this co-creating a solution and then build a solution towards that. It has to be win-win situation. It has to be beneficial to uh, uh, Denmark and also beneficial to India. So why should you take part in this? Well, we have some uh, prizes. We have two awards, uh, awards for two students in Denmark who can win a trip to India. Uh, a tailor-made study trips where you will visit companies and other things, people and get contacts and, and so on uh, of your own wishes. And on, on the other hand, we have two, uh, uh, two trips for two Indian students to Denmark. And then we have this special award of two years Master of Science Studies at Copenhagen Business School for an Indian student. The challenges of urbanization, the environment and scarcity of natural resources, including energy and water, are facing people everywhere in the world. Nowhere in the world are these so-called megatrends more visible and so clearly part of the day-to-day -day experiences of being a citizen than in India. But also here in Denmark, though in a smaller scale, we are in need of ideas that contribute to sustainable and inclusive development. This is why we have supported this competition here. The whole idea of co-creation, co-creating sustainable solutions for the future is more important than ever before. And you, the people who actually inhibit and shape the future, are key persons and creative forces behind turning the challenges of today into possibilities of tomorrow. How to apply? Well, you have to go to our homepage, go, uh, go uh, co-create now slash competition and you can uh, put your interest there between 15th of September today and 15th of December this year. We also have a Facebook page and uh, I advise you to go there and uh, perhaps you can meet your partners there and discuss things with other people at, uh, at Facebook. Any cooperation or contacts among uh, the participants should be described in the answer. And this, a good, this uh, is, will be considered as a good thing that you have contacts with other participants and you discuss things and you co-create things together. However, each participant must submit uh, an individual uh, response. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, yeah. There is a lot of challenges during this. Uh, so just being one mind, thinking about all of this, would be not enough. Yeah, but it's also good sometimes not to have so much background experience because then you're more likely to think out of the box. I'm trying to think of uh, of an idea which can be a part of the competition because uh, it's not just taking a part in the competition. I, I, I need to think about something which which is viable and which is which is, which can be practically implementable. In knowledge economy, the world is flat. We are not distant. It's just that we need to come together to solve a bigger problem. So, why not be a winner, join the uh, competition, I hope you will all uh, take part of it. I wish you all a good luck when participating in this important competition. <laughs>